hi everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is going to cover day five and day six of the minimalism challenge I'm getting better at saying that word <laughs> um so for day five i picked these five ink pads um these ink pads honestly are great they're really nice um they give like a really nice metallic finish but I taped them up when I moved house and they haven't been on tape since and I've been here six months now so I kept saying to myself I'll save these for Christmas um because I used to do a lot of stamping at Christmas but honestly I didn't use them and I also noticed about myself that I'm not a massive fan of pigment inks because they take so long to dry and I suppose I could heat set them but I don't so I just find myself avoiding using them even though they're great ink pads and they're lovely and then this last one come with a forever friends kit and I kept it because it was the color brown from the bear but quite honestly I always color my stuff with my pro markers so I prefer to use my um, memento inks sorry i was trying to remember the name then and there's no information on this that tells me whether it's a dye or a pigment ink i think from the pad it's a dye ink um but yeah i i don't really know i think it's a dye ink but i don't use it so i am gonna let these go and if anybody is interested in any of these ink pads just let me know send me an email and we'll see how much it would cost to post. I don't want any money for them, but um, if it's not too expensive, I'd happily give these to somebody. Um, yeah, so that's those five. And then day six, I'm going to let go these other ones. Now I deliberated on these because gold, silver and copper seem like staples. But again, they don't, I like the silver one the most. I've never liked this gold. I don't know why. I think it was just, it was too light for me. Um, it looks nice as like when you edge your cards though. It's really pretty for that. Um, I don't know why. I just never really enjoyed this color of ink. So um, I much preferred my galaxy gold which i'm also going to be um getting rid of not because i don't love it though i i'm going to replace this but um my ink pad is so well used that i've actually split it and it's starting to run out anyways um i don't know if that's because of that uh but i used it so much at christmas so i'm going to throw this away because it's broken but i am um going to put it on my shopping list to replace so yes i'm adding these three ink pads to my stack i love copper i just don't use it very much i would be interested in getting like a rose gold color uh, but i'm thinking maybe more of an embossing powder than an ink pad um yeah to be honest i think i prefer metallic embossing powders to ink um, that might just be my preference personally. Um, they're both great, but as I said, I don't have the patience to wait for them to dry. <laughs> so anyway, um, so that's three items for day six. That's my fourth item for day six, which is going in the bin. And the last two items for day six, making up to six items, is, are these two stencils. This one, I do actually like it, but I can't see me using it um, just because I've got other designs that are similar that I prefer. It's not my favourite, so I think I'm going to give that to somebody if they're interested in having it because I just don't think I'm going to use it. And the other one is this Lucky Clovers. I'm not really into like Lucky Charms or Luck themed things. Uh, this would be great if you are like set, um, celebrate St. Patrick's or something but I don't so I'm probably not ever going to use this unless I was to turn it into a flower and put like a 
gem in the middle but I'm probably not gonna so I'm gonna let that go so that's five items for day five five for day six uh, six for day six and I also thought while I'm on I would talk to you a bit about um, how I plan for craft fair and shopping trips so my mum and I hopefully are going to go to the Newbury craft fair and I don't want to go crazy and buy a bunch of stuff especially as I'm de-stashing and that will completely defeat the object but there are some things that I need and I that I'm not going to say that I can never buy anything new because a mindful purchase about am I going to use this and will it add to what I've already got or will it take away from kind of thought process will help me buy the right things and not just buy a bunch of stuff because it's cheaper in the sale or whatever so um if I can find one I'd really like to get a black and white simple stories binder um I think I showed you my last video or a couple of videos ago how I store my ink swatches and I would like another binder just for my um uh, ink sponges oh words are not working for me today <laughs> um I'm also going to be looking for a new glue um and possibly a new precision bottle I really really love these bottles the only thing is is I, my favorite glue the multi matte medium is really thick so it's really difficult for me to if I show you the nib it, this really is precision it's literally the width of a needle um, and you actually put a needle inside it it doesn't clog up it's been great um, so I love it but with this particular adhesive in it because it's so thick it's really difficult for me to push out and I really struggle to um, actually use the glue in this bottle so I am going to be looking at potentially getting the collage medium to get around that problem now I'm struggling to try and put it back in mm. why does this happen on camera <laughs> don't normally have that much difficulty yeah anyway so that's something I'm going to look at I would like to see if I can try those incredible the most incredible ink brushes or whatever they're called you know the ones that look like makeup brushes for your face um, I'd like to see if I could try them to see if they really are as good as they say before I buy them I'd like to get the misty corners so that I can use my bigger stamp platform um, I want to find a good tape roller gun and I need to replace some of my finger daubers because they are literally disintegrating they are so old I mean let me find one yeah this one's a good one look at that it's literally pilling I don't know if you can see the detail but yeah it's literally falling apart every time I use it a bit of dauber comes off see <laughs> so uh, yeah that one's gonna go in the bin actually that is particularly bad so um, I need some more of them I'd like to look for a rose gold embossing powder and I need to replace my brilliant galaxy gold so this is my shopping list and as I de stash and continue this week I will keep adding to this list as I find things that have worn out run out died need replacing or I don't have and I will just keep an eye and write things down and that doesn't mean I'm going to buy all of this this just means this is what I'm focused on when I go in there and if I only come away with a couple of things that's fine I really don't care I'm going more for the ideas and stuff um, and to hopefully be able to try things out because I'm fed up with buying stuff online and it comes and then it doesn't do what I wanted it to do and it cost me money and then I end up having all this stuff in my craft room I think I'm just tight honestly but I don't have a lot of money to spend on my crafting budget so when I buy something I want it to work so I'm going to do a lot of research at this craft fair anyway I feel like I've rambled a little bit um, and moaned about stuff being too expensive <laughs> but um, 
that's how I plan for a craft show and those were the items that I'm going to do stash for days five and six of my challenge. Thank you so much everyone for watching. I really appreciate your thumbs up and you subscribing and watching my videos. It means a lot to me and hopefully you're all still well. Let me know how you're doing in the comments below and yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.